All right, Robert's Gravers here. Uh, this is video number five for regex in Python. You can find the uh, previous parts of the series in the description. But in this video, we are getting closer already to working with regex. We just have to do a bit of pre-processing. We already did uh, a bit in a previous video. You can find that in the description or somewhere down below. So we removed new lines from uh, all the entries. Now, the problem that we are having is um, these lines are separated. Basically, I'm considering one entry to be two lines in a log file. This is the log file. And I want to work with one single entry when I'm extracting values uh, from the log file. So you have to figure out a way to access two lines in parallel because you're not going to be able to um, extract data from two lines at the same time when you're when you have a for loop like a typical for loop and this is not a typical situation um, usually you would be able to just work with this variable like a line and you would a you would be able to use regex to extract some patterns from the line and extract some values but now you have to work with two lines so what could you do how could you change change this if you would want to just come up with a regex pattern that could extract values from two lines at the same time I don't know if that's even possible, but it, it would take you a long time to come up with such a pattern. It would be easier to do some pre-processing and just uh, configure the input data to be um, easier in one single line or something like that. That's what we want to achieve here. And if you do a bit of research, you would realize that this is possible in Python with two methods, zip and slice. So I'm going to show you in this video the combination of those two in order to combine two lines into single like input data. So what I did here is I paused the video for a second and I wrote out this new for loop. And this is a combination of using zip with slice in Python. So what are we doing here? Uh, let's remove that. Let's remove the previous code. And I'm just going to run this to show you what's going on maybe add some uh, spaces here just like that all right so what's the difference between idea one and idea two well the difference is that idea one in this case one just gives you the access to the first line but the idea too gives you access to both lines in one single for loop cycle. And this is exactly what you want to have if you want to combine two lines together, like it was in this case. We kind of want to consider one entry, entry two, and this would be entry one. We want to consider that like this as a one entry and this is an entry to in a log file. Now that we have a combination of those two, we can extract whatever data is necessary from those two lines within one cycle, one, one for loop cycle. So yeah, now we can start to think about regex. Just before we continue with regex, I wanted to show you the documentation uh, I have links and I have in-depth explanation of this 
written down in my blog post and uh, how I understand it better, you can find the link in the description to that blog post and explore it yourself. But in uh, very short terms, uh, in a very short explanation, the documentation page for Python and uh, Zip explains here very well. You basically combine two lists together and zip them together. This is a very good example of trying to understand what I'm doing with the log file. And uh, yeah, if you understand this idea, we can move on to the regex part. Just to make this a bit more readable, what I did was I moved these two out to new variables. So we have event lines and we have last, last data lines. And this is how the slicing works. So I'm going to remove this old code, old things here, and also change the variable here, added uh, underscore because we have two last data variables here that would be last data line event line and last data line now at this point now we can focus on using regular expressions and uh, now that we look at the log file and the values that you would want to extract i came to the conclusion okay if i would work with this log file i probably would want to know how to extract the source number, how to extract destination number, how to extract start time, the date and the time itself and the end time. Those would be my four values that you I would probably want to extract with regex. So now that you know what exactly you want to extract from the file with regex, we can move on to the regex tool that I'm usually using for this process. So what I usually do when I need to come up with a regex expression, I come to this website, regex101.com. And what this website does, it lets you visually see what text is selected with your pattern. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to try to come up with a pattern and explain my process here, how I usually do it. And um, you should be able to understand from that how easily you can come up, come up with your own regex patterns. So let's say I want to extract the source number with regex. How would I do that? Well, I need this pattern and I know that source starts with something like this. So the pattern would be something like this, but the problem is this number can change over time. So what I would do is I would create a capturing group for regex here. And I would use dot and plus sign to select like extend the selection of this number but the problem here is also that it has to end with destination destination seems to be the next thing in the list so i guess it's a space it needs to end somewhere like here and now you can see i'm only looking at this part of the text and the group is only this number. This is what you want to achieve. If you have a similar pattern uh, in your log file, what you want to get is you want to write a pattern in regex that would select something around the part what exactly you want to extract, like the value that you want to extract. And uh, for the value that you want to extract, you just want to use capturing group and I usually get away with using this simple pattern dot and a plus sign. You kind of can play around with this pattern to understand how to come up with similar patterns. And this is what I usually do for Alex. It's a very simple process. If you don't understand what exactly dot and all these uh, parentheses mean, you can go on the side here and uh, read the explanation. They 
explain very well what's being done here. So once you have the pattern, you can move on to regex, to the Python code. And let's say I play around with these patterns in uh, regex 101. And uh, I come up with all the regex patterns that I need. This is how you could structure the process for building a regex class. This is what I did in my blog post. I'm not going to explain again the same process of building this class, but it's a very simple process. So what do you want to do in your case is you want to come up with patterns, patterns, and you want to create some kind, some kind of variables for those patterns. And you can see it. these are very similar to the first one that I did. So you could do similar ones for the other uh, values that you want to extract. And then we have here a method, the class method, which is extract with regex. And what you want to give it is a line and the regex pattern. And the other things you shouldn't really worry about. I'm not going to go over the whole process of building a very, very simple method. But what you want to understand is that here, what you can do, you can pass a line of string to this method a pattern and just get back a matching value or get back a non-value. And that's all you need to extract some values from the log file. So I'm going to utilize this and I'm going to apply it to the previous code to event line and last dated line. All right, if we continue here, what I did was I initialized the class, the regex class that I talked about. I created a new list and then I went into the for loop and I did call the extract with regex method for each specific pattern. This is how we access patterns. This one and this one. And what you can do in each cycle in a for loop, you're just attempting to find these values like source, destination, start time, end time. And in the end, what you could do is just build some sort of a dictionary with these values and you can apply them to entries at the end and uh, have the whole entries printed at the end. If you're following along the video, don't forget that you need to import re, which is the regular expressions and also JSON uh, for the end to print all the entries. So this is what I added in the end. I added entry for entries and just wanted to print out a pretty way of showing all the values. So this is what we get. If we run the code, we get entry one, source number, destination number, start time, end time. Uh, second entry doesn't have a source. It has only a destination start time end time and this is a very great example how you can use regular expressions in python and build some sort of a parsing script and extract whatever values you want to extract from log files or similar files all right that's pretty much it if you have any questions you can ask me down below in the comment section i'm willing to answer to the questions i kind of went fast over this last part because i don't want to like build it again from the scratch, but it should be very clear. I talked about very like the main points and you should be able to understand the main points. If, if you struggle with this, you can ask me a question, but if you want to become a Python developer and you need help in um, taking the steps and building your own portfolio project, you can send me a message um, or send me an email. You can find my contact details below. And I will see if I can help you out. So that's it. Thank you.